name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, tomorrow we celebrate the commemoration of the baptism of our Lord. And it is good that we, today as well as yesterday, uh, we reflect on the mystery of Jesus' baptism and uh, also on the importance of this, this necessity of means for salvation of baptism. Today, we can reflect on another aspect of baptism. Yesterday, we meditated upon the baptism as an epiphany of our Lord, his manifestation. Today, let us meditate on Jesus' baptism. Why was Jesus baptized? Did he need to be baptized? There is then an important mystery in Jesus' baptism. When Jesus went uh, into the river Jordan to be baptized, there there is the manifestation of a great mystery. There is the Father speaking from above, this is my beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit coming upon the Son, descending and resting on the Son under the form of a dove. But that Holy Spirit coming down from heaven, descending upon the Son and resting on Jesus is very significant. And it explains why was Jesus was baptized. In fact, in the Holy Gospel of St. John, uh, the, the Holy Gospel says that uh, he upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining upon him, he it is that baptize, baptizes with the Holy Ghost. So the baptism of Jesus was ministered unto him by water and uh, it was not the sacrament of baptism. And Jesus had no need, of course, to be baptized. But Jesus accepted that baptism in order to open the way for each one of us to be baptized and to institute officially and uh, initially the sacrament of baptism. So Jesus went into the Jordan to make this revelation now possible. The Holy Spirit descending upon him and saying that it is Jesus actually who baptizes with the Holy Spirit by water and spirit. That ministry of John the Baptist in preparing the way for Christ came to its fulfillment when Jesus himself came along and asked for this baptism. But Jesus' baptism was propitious to officially and uh, solemnly prepare, uh, begin this new baptism, the baptism of our Lord. There is also another reason why Jesus decided uh, to be baptized. As he entered the river Jordan, the water of that river was sanctified by Jesus' presence. From that moment, the water became the sacramental sign of baptism. The water was enabled by Jesus' presence and by the sanctification of the Holy Spirit to become the matter of our baptism. In fact, we know that we receive our baptism by water, which is the sacramental matter, and by the Holy Spirit, who is the form. Through the formula, I baptized, by, by, I baptized thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Trinitarian God is giving us this grace to be reborn by water, this sacramental sign, and by the power 
of the Holy Spirit. So we rejoice <coughs> in this uh, epiphany celebration, the baptism of our Lord, because it was Jesus who instituted the sacrament of baptism. Officially, we said, now when he enters the Jordan, and uh, in a definitive uh, way, before, before ascending into heaven, returning to his father at the end of his, uh, after his resurrection, before his ascension, Jesus gave this command, go to all nations, baptize all people in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brethren, today we can meditate on the mystery of baptism by considering this solemn moment. We contemplate Jesus and uh, the beginning of his messianic ministry. This messianic ministry is now come to its completion because, because of the institution of baptism. Through this baptism, <clears throat> we are made unto children of God. And we thank Jesus for this infinite mystery, for this infinite grace, to be born to eternal life. No reason, actually, to be born uh, without having this opportunity to live forever. It would be something too limited, of course, just to be born for this world without any hope, without any possibility to share in this life eternal. This grace has been given to us by the sacrament of baptism. Let us prepare ourselves for this celebration tomorrow, the baptism of our Lord, as we thank even more Jesus today <clears throat> for granting us the grace to be baptized and to receive this, this uh, grace, to live eternally. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.